What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another War Within video. This is for Void Weaver. This is basically the first um, Shadow Priest tree that we've gotten in terms of the hero talents. And I'll give you a TLDR. It, it's pretty good. We're going to go over the entire tree in this video, but I will say that this tree looks good. Uh, at the outset, it's got a lot of power, I think, locked up into it. And the basic uh, play style for this tree is that you're going to press Void Torrent. Void Torrent's going to create a rift on the ground attached to an enemy. That's going to do AoE damage. And then eventually that rift is like going to collapse and stuff. But that's the entire playstyle of this tree revolves around pressing Void Torrent and then having it give you this, this 10 second window of damage. And it can actually go up to 15 seconds, but you kind of get this window of extra damage. And there's a couple of other fancy things that happen in there as well. So it's actually quite simple in its design. It just revolves around you taking Void Torrent. So you really have to take Void Torrent and you have to take Malediction, I would say, to make this build um, work properly. Let's go over all the different uh, talents, though, okay? So we have Entropic Rift. Void Torrent tears open a rift that follows an enemy for 10 seconds. Enemies, Other enemies caught in the path suffer 100% spell damage. I'm assuming the enemy that you're targeting also suffers this damage every second while within its reach. So... Right out of the gates, I don't know if this counts as periodic damage or non-periodic damage when it comes to Dark Ascension buffing it versus Void Eruption. I'm going to say it sounds like damage over time to me, so I don't think Dark Ascension would buff Entropic Rift damage. Okay, this out of the outset. Of course, you're going to have to take Void Torrent, like I said, so these two talents are automatically locked into place in terms of the bottom section of your tree. So that could be a little bit of a... Not a problem, but I've tried to do a tree here that I think might work for the build. I'll show you why in a second. Let's go down the middle column here, and um, then I'll talk about everything, and then I'll go left and I'll go right. One last thing I want to say about the Entropic Rift is um, the... Ah, uh, shoot, I just had it on the tip of my tongue. I'll, I'll think of it later. Don't worry. We'll move on to the next one. There's an idea I had in, in my head. Oh, if the enemy dies. This is what it is. If the enemy that you target dies, and then all the other enemies, like leave that area for whatever reason then does the puddle that you created does it stay with the dead corpse of the enemy i don't know about all that because it says that you know your void torrent is going to tear open a rift on that and it follows an enemy so what if that enemy dies over here and then the rest of the mobs are like over here and i'm my rift isn't hitting them anymore there could be kind of some weird shenanigans that way you might have to be careful about who you target with the rift that might be the only thing okay let's go to the middle here Void Blast. Entropic Rift upgrades Mind Blast to Void Blast, okay? This is really crazy. If we look down here, we can see the uh, class spec, or the class tree. Mind Blast does 78% spell power, okay? 78%. This does 228%. Okay? So, the upgrade that we're talking about is massive, okay? Mind Blast is not really the best button in the Shadow Priest uh, kit right now. It's just not something that... It's sort of like a filler. It does generate some insanity. It's fine, but, like, it's basically a filler. You're hoping to get procs of Mind Devourer from it, like that kind of thing. Um, but when... If you take this, if you get Void Blast and you're going for Void Reaver, it now becomes, like, your primary button. So you don't just get it all the time, of course. You have to have a Rift open, but remember... The Rift uptime is going to actually end up being 15 seconds if we look at Darkened Horizon. Void Blast increases the duration of Entropic Rift, okay? So let's say for all intents and purposes, you're going to have a 15-second Entropic Rift that's going off, okay? The cooldown of Void Torrent is now 30 seconds because of Malediction. So you cast Void Torrent, then for 15 seconds you have this Rift open, then you wait 15 more seconds and you're back to Void Torrent again. So like... The cooldown, like, you're going to have Void Blast available almost all the time. Basically, every 15 seconds or so, um, you're going to have Void Blast available. Let's, you know, something like that, right? So, this is going to be up all the time. It's going to be doing a crazy amount of damage. And then let's look at all the talents that buff Mind Blast. Look at this. You can get 20% uh, stacking, right? 20% crit chance stacking up to four times on Mind uh, Blast, which end, uh, turns into Void Blast. So Void Blast basically has guaranteed crit, which is crazy. Um, you're, uh, that's Shadowy Apparitions. 
you're going to have a chance to make it instant because of your Shadow Earth Pain stuff. So you might get an instant reset on Void Blast inside of this Entropic Window, which is really, really cool. Of course, it gives you Devouring Plague procs. Let's look at the bottom here. You can obviously proc Mindbender, but look at this. Mastermind increases the critical strike chance of Mind Blast by 8% and their critical strike damage by 40%. 40% more crit damage. Basically guaranteed crit over here from Mind Melt. 40% more damage from Insidious Ire. If you take Dark Ascension, that's 25% more damage to your non-periodic spells, which is, of course, Void. It's going to be Mind Blast or Void Blast. So, <clears throat> to me, this is... um. This is now going to become an incredibly high DPS button, and I think you could set up a talent tree that really maximizes your Mind Blast damage, and then um, it's also going to all funnel into Psychic Link, right? Don't forget that. So instead of Mind Blast being a wimpy button that we don't really care about, we can now actually invest our talent points on the tree down here into Mind Blast talents and not feel bad about it because this thing's going to be hitting like a, like a truck. So... Very, very excited about this. This is cool. Again, it's going to extend Entropic Rift up to 15 seconds. Void Infusion. Void Blast generates 100% more insanity. So now we have 16 insanity being generated instead of 8. Here's the capstone. Collapsing Void. Each time you cast Devouring Plague, Entropic Rift expands one yard bigger. After Entropic Rift ends, it collapses, rapidly dealing shadow damage up to 8 times to random enemy based on how many times it expanded. So... You basically want to start the rift with Void Torrent, okay? Then you press your Mind Blast into Devouring Plagues. Of course, you would have already Shadow Crashed and have your dots ticking. So you're going to go Mind Blast, Devouring Plague, Void Blast, Devouring Plague, Void Blast, Devouring Plague. And then you're going to be extending the duration of the rift and expanding the size of the rift. And then eventually it's going to collapse and do a crazy amount of damage on top of the AoE damage it was already doing. So... This is very, very cool. It looks like it does individual shadow damage to random enemies, which makes me think that the collapsing void damage could get buffed by Dark Ascension because it sounds like individual damage, not damage over time. And then I don't know if all this damage is going to pour into um, your uh, Psychic Link. Sorry. I'm assuming not because it says your direct damage spells. This is not you directly casting a spell. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that it doesn't count for Psychic Link damage. But I do think it's going to count for Dark Ascension if you wanted to buff the damage of it. Okay? That's just my take on it there. So, big Void Torrent channel. Void Blast, Void Blast, Devouring Plague, Devouring Plague. It, ex it grows and grows. It expands. Then it, ex then it explodes. That's the idea. Let's go to the left here. This is really, really cool. We got no escape. Entropic Rift slows enemies, so a big, big AoE slow might be good for, like, Spiteful Week. Could be kind of good, or just mobs that you want to kite around a little bit, maybe. And then you've got Dark Energy. Void Torrent can be used while moving. While Entropic Void is active, you move 20% faster. This basically looks a bit like a PvP one to me, like slowing enemies and then being able to move while channeling. Very PvP things, but also incredibly strong in PvE, man. Dark Energy. This is so insane. Void Torrent can be used while moving, and then while your Entropic Void is active, you have 20% MS. That's crazy. Like I just said, your Entropic Void will be up for 15 seconds. So you have 15 seconds of 20% faster movement speed. Then you have a 15-second break while it's cooling down, and then you cast your Void Torrent again. And it's back, and boom, you got 15 you get 20% more movement speed again. So the movement speed part of this is kind of insane for Shadow Priest. You're going to be moving really, really quickly. Let's go down here. Devour, Matter, uh, or Void Empowerment. This is more PvP type stuff. Like very much. This is this is the PvP node, I think. Shadow where Death consumes Absorb Shields, dealing 300% extra damage, granting you 5 Insanity. Summoning an Entropic Rift grants you one charge of Mind Devour. This is just good no matter what. I think this is the one that you're always going to take. Um, unless there's some crazy shield on a boss that you really do need to get rid of. This means you're going to get a free proc on your Devouring Plague. So you press Void Torrent. It summons the Rift. You can immediately press Devouring Plague, which is immediately going to um, extend it, uh, the, the size of it right away. Okay, And of course, a free Devouring Plague is a ton of damage. It's just very, very good. Okay, So that's probably what you're going to take there. On the right side... Inner Quietus, Vampiric Touch, Shadow or Pain, deal more damage. Oh, I forgot about this. Void Heart makes when your Entropic Rift is active, you're doing 10% more damage, period, which is actually pretty crazy. That's a lot of damage. And then you get another 20% more damage on Vamp Touch and Shadow Word Pain. That's really high. Like, that's a lot of damage that's going on there. 
Here's the next choice here. Depth of Shadows. Shadow Word Death has a high chance to summon a Shadow Fiend for five seconds. Chances increased against lower health enemies. So this is pretty cool. I, I, I think to me this is like symbolizing like a pseudo Death Speaker build coming back in a way. You could take Death Speaker and get all the procs going for your Shadow Word Death. Of course, you don't have the tier step bonus that makes it proc multiple times. I get it. But this prioritizes you pressing Shadow Word Death to summon another um, Shadow Fiend. Now, it doesn't say anything about Mindbender. It's going to summon a Shadow Fiend for five seconds, which makes me think it might only summon a Mindbender for like two seconds or something, but that would be really, really useless. So I'm assuming, we don't know, I'm assuming it might also summon your Mindbender for five seconds as well. Maybe it's a little bit less. Maybe it's three seconds. Either way, it's not very long, but if the chance is really, really high that this happens, then... It doesn't have to be out for that long because you can get like one proc of inescapable torment or something. Let's say, let's say you get one or two procs of inescapable torment when this thing procs. That would be kind of worth it. That would be totally worth it, and that would be really really cool. So maybe a bit of a pseudo death speaker thing there. And then just there's void wraith. Transform your shadow fiend into a void wraith and cast void flay, dealing up to fifty percent additional damage. If you take Mindbender, I'm assuming it just turns into a Void Wraith, but it has a one-minute cooldown instead of a three-minute cooldown. So, again, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, this is really, really good. I mean, 50% additional damage might be just really solid to have this as a part of your tree. Um, you know, it, it, it feels a little bit out of place, potentially. I know Mind Blast does proc Inescapable Torment, and this is a very Mind Blast-focused tree, so I get all that, but at the same time... Um, there's just, it's just a little bit strange that they threw in the Shadow or Death stuff here as well. You know, may maybe it would work having a Death Speaker build even without the tier set bonus that we have right now. We'd have to wait and see. Here's the final node. Void Leech, every two seconds, siphon an amount uh, equal to 3% of your health from a nearby ally if they are higher health than you. And Embrace Shadow, you absorb 3% of all magic damage taken. Absorbing Shadow damage heals you. So, Void Leech is kind of cool actually for sustain. But um, it's a little bit troll, and I think people are probably not going to love it if that's... if the, Obviously, you could be stealing health from the tank basically at all times, which is kind of cool. Um, he's the only... The tank's probably the only one that's going to have a higher health than you at any given moment, like if ever, everybody else is taking damage. Embrace the Shadow just seems generically better. Absorbing 3% of all magic damage done is good. And then absorbing Shadow damage... We're going into uh, an expansion that has Nerubians, right? Um, they're probably going to do a lot of Shadow damage. So when you're in the Nerubian dungeons or maybe the first raid, I think, is like a Nerubian-themed raid. So there's a very good chance that you're going to get use out of Embrace the Shadow right there. That's the tree, guys. Um, it is very good. There's just generic damage amps like Void Heart and Inner Quietus. Um, there's some really good utility in movement speed, being able to move uh, while Void Torrenting and faster with Entropic uh, Void being open. That is really, really good. Um, that's the Rift, of course. They put Entropic Void. Entropic Rift is what they're saying. And then, of course, um, having a low cooldown hero talent tree that focuses on like a 30-second Void Torrent into this this... 15 second damage window where you can just pump 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 damage with your new void blast and have all that damage splashing onto other people with psychic link like it feels really good to me this feels like a a very complete tree um that's going to add a tremendous amount of damage to your aoe pulls in mythic plus i don't think that this is terrible in single target simply because of the buff to mind blast you could take again insidious ire and be doing 40 percent more damage to like a raid boss you might have to modify this tree a little bit more but like void blast doing this much damage is probably just good enough on its own to warrant this in single target as well we're gonna have to wait and see what the archon tree is all about we don't know yet but um either way i think this is a really fantastic tree for shadow it seems to have lots of different synergies with the actual talent tree itself especially all the mind blast stuff and i think it's gonna play really well whether or not rotationally you're gonna want to press mind blast or void blast that often is up is, we'll have to wait and see i don't know i'd love to hear from you guys who play shadow priest right now i know mind blast is not a huge priority button right now but if you took this hero talent tree would you be okay with like 
modifying your rotation a little bit to include more void blasts like would you feel good about it I, I don't i don't know i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below please let me know if you're a big shadow priest player what you think about this okay those are my notes thank you guys so much again for watching i love y'all i'm going to keep covering more of the war within so stay tuned for more videos i'll see you in the next one